Hey guys, Roby here with the Divi Engine team. Welcome to the Divi Form Builder documentation. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the different form field settings you'll find in the Divi Form Builder. We skim over some of the details here, so be sure to check out the videos on those topics to learn exactly how to use them. Definitely also check out our documentation site at help.diviengine.com for other videos and support articles which in depth describe how to utilize all the features you'll find in the Divi form builder. But don't worry if you get stuck, definitely just submit a support ticket and one of our awesome support team members will get back in touch with you to resolve that issue. Now, if you're ready, let's go. All right, so just like with any of the modules you'll find in Divi, the form fields are not gonna work much different in the sense that you find all the settings in two tabs. We've got a content tab where you control the more functional elements and what is displayed on the screen within that field. And then secondly, we've got the design tab where you let your creative side flow and you style it up the way that you want it. We're gonna start here with the content tab where we've got a bunch of different toggles added that are broken down into different categories. So let's take a look at those. Okay, so we're gonna kick off our field options journey here right at the top, we've got our field title. Now this is used for admin organization as well as for labels. Next up, we've got the field ID. Now the field ID is pretty important because it is used when you're utilizing conditional logic, mapping, and creating email templates. So make sure that this is unique so that you can utilize it for those other purposes. Next up, we've got the field type. And when you click on that here, you'll see a ton of different options. We go from password fields to image uploads and all the way down to like digital signature fields here, all very useful. And this will continue to expand as we grow the Divi Form Builder plugin. Now also, depending on the type of field you select here, I'm gonna go ahead and select just the input field. Your options below here might change. Now, if you have something like an image field, Maybe the length option doesn't make sense, so let me select it here. And you see it doesn't have that, but now you've got a whole bunch of other toggles here. But we're not gonna be covering each field in detail here. Go ahead and check out the documentation on each of those to find out exactly what settings pertain to them and what you can change and how to style them and so forth. But for now, we'll stick to the input field. So, you know, ignoring these other sections we have here, the minimum length, the maximum length, those do exactly what you probably think they do. The only option you'll find on every other field is this require field option. So you can switch it to yes, and you see it immediately gets this little asterisk there indicating that it is a required field. So these are the field options. Alrighty, so next up, we're gonna check out the layout options. We will just scroll down here a little bit and then click on layout options. And now the layout options pertain to the layout of your form or the design of your form. But don't confuse that with the appearance or the styling of your form, which those settings will be found underneath the design tab. Now the first option here is columns for grid. Now you can set the size of each column and you'll see that there's a bunch of options in here. So if you want two fields side by side, you'll go and put it to half and you'll put the next field to half. Then the Divi form holder will know to put those next to each other instead of on new lines. Now, this will also automatically calculate when the field needs to go on the next line. It's very convenient and a great way where you can display up to four form fields next to each other. Next up is label positioning. So that field label that we gave it at the top there, you can select to not display it. You can put it at the top, left or right. So a few different options you have there. You can control the placeholder text that says Divi Engine and you will see it change here live with that visual builder compatibility. Makes it easy to design the site. But you want to use that placeholder text for some instructional information for the user. You can also leave that blank and it will go to default. Now you can also add a description to your field. And the first option there is gonna to be to decide where you want it. It can be above or below the actual field. So if I just type in, this is a description, I can go ahead and put it below or on top. So very handy feature there, again, just to relay more information to the user. Next up, you can even add an icon to be in the field. So you just flip that to yes, 
I can put that icon right there and you see how it is here at the end of the column and you can use any of the icons that are included in Divi. So another cool feature. So these are all the different layout options that you have available at this section of the Divi form field. Now what's more, you can find different icon settings in your aside from just selecting your icon. You can come down here and you can change the color of the icon. You can change the size of the icon and then you can also change the distance from the top there. Now you can also probably put a negative value and it'll pop up there. So different things that you can do with these settings. And those are all the layout options we have here for you in this form field layout. Okay, so mapping options. Mapping options are used for forms that have to do with post creation, login and register. You're gonna map the fields to the database for fields like advanced custom fields, username, thumbnail, that type of stuff. So let's take a look at what we've got in here. I'm scrolling down and expanding mapping options. Now the first option here is the field mapping type. So in here, you're gonna select whether it is just the post default field for like a post, the page, the product, the custom post type, or whatever you might find in there. It could also be a taxonomy, advanced custom field. There's so many different options that you'll find within here. Now, one thing to note here, so let's say I select these default fields and I wanna map a thumbnail field. I'll go actually in here and find a thumbnail or maybe in this case, a featured image. So if I'm utilizing with this field, the image upload field type, it's gonna map that submission to the featured image. So that's pretty cool. It gives you a lot of different things that you can do with the actual form. And it's crazy to think that this is just a form plugin, but you can really take control of your site from the front end by just using the Divi Form Builder plugin and maybe some of our other products like Body Commerce or Divi Machine, which specializes in custom post types. It's a really cool feature of the plugin. Okay, so now the last section we're gonna take a look at here is the conditional logic section, and I'll expand that right here. If you click enable, basically what you can do here is you can set up a bunch of rules to display or hide certain fields based on other selections the users made on your Divi Form Builder form. Powerful tool, it makes your forms dynamic, and it really has you in control of your user journey. So that's pretty much it with conditional logic. It works pretty similar to the logic you'll find in the Divi modules. So pretty cool thing. Glad we included this here. You'll find a lot of use out of that. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna be taking a look at here is the design tab in your Divi form builder form field. Now I'm gonna click into it right here. And right here, you're gonna find all the different settings of how you control what your different fields look like on the page. Now, I can go into depth all day about this, but definitely check out the documentation for each individual form field, because as you can see, there's a ton of settings here, and they do change based on the type of field you're using. So definitely check out each individual video on those for the type of field you're looking to utilize. But just as a general, you can style the field so you can set the appearance of the background color, text color, focus, and all that fun stuff. You can also get into the font sizes and that type of thing. And the same goes down here for the text. You can set the alignment, but you can also control things like label text. And again, you know, drop shadow, all the different settings you're already used to when you're utilizing the Divi modules. So if you use the Divi theme, you already know this stuff. But as I said, it's extensive, so definitely check out the settings for the individual fields that you wanna use. And there, that's that, guys. That is our quick overview of the settings you find in the Divi form fields within the Divi form builder. Hopefully this was helpful for you, but don't forget, if you didn't find the answers you were looking for, definitely check out the documentation site at help.diviengine.com where you're gonna find a ton of videos on things like these individual fields, as well as support articles that are gonna help you master all the features you'll find in the Divi form builder. But don't worry if you get stuck, definitely get in touch with the support team because they're eager to help you out to sort those issues. So guys, that's it from me, Roby with the Divi Engine team. I'm gonna be catching you in the next video.